to Anchored at Harbor Park CrossFit, a show dedicated to helping you find enrichment for the other 23 hours of your day outside of the gym. Here's your hosts, Jason, Dave, and Corian. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Anchored, episode 41. I'm host Jason. I'm Coach Dave. Coach Dave. Coach Corian. Today we are going to talk about a little recap, 2018 recap, and things to look forward to in 2019. I cannot believe it is 2019. We're flying by. Next thing you know, it's going to be 2020. God. So let's first off, Happy New Year, everybody. This is our first episode of the New Year. <laughs> There's awkward silence there. Yeah, Happy New Year. We took last week off because of the holidays, and now we're just getting back into it. So this is the first one we're recording in the new year. Correct. Yes, that's why I was confused for a second. So didn't we post one last week? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. We're, confused, <laughs> we're confused, but this is the first recording of the new year. That's all it's that Monday, not enough Monday, coffee. Not enough coffee. All right, I got an icebreaker. Unless, Jason, you have one. Corin, you have one? All right, cool. So 2019 is upon us. We're going to reflect back because this is a reflecting episode. What is... What is the your a memory of 2018? Your most memorable memory of 2018, and what is what are you most excited about for 2019? Gym related. Hmm. hmm. The most memorable memorable would probably be opening the racing gym uh, for the first time because we went from the little rinky dink place to the nice new big one. Um, what am I looking forward to in 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Just, just, I think, being consistent with everything we do around here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, most memorable. That is so tough because I feel like there's just so many that I really love reflecting on. When it comes to the gym, I think the most memorable... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I have to say, uh, I would have to say, I know it's not something that everybody sees a lot, but I would think that it was our escape the room with the coaches because I love when we do those sort of things together and then we really get to know more about each other, how each other works, how we function, how we think, and then it really builds us up as a team. So, like, that was the start of our retreats last year and then obviously we did the canoeing which was really fun as well and got us all on the same page so those are my most memorable and then what I'm looking forward to for 2019 for me personally um, I I always struggle with this balance of work life Um, I'm redefining what that looks like for me and I think that in 2018 Personally, I was getting a little, um, you know, a little burnt out. I'm a per- people person. I do love talking to people, um, and emotionally, I got hurt a lot in this last year. Um, and I think that my first instinct was to retreat and run away. Um, but then I found that didn't make me happy either. So my 2019 is rebuilding uh, connections and uh, commitment with our members, and just understanding that in that process there's going to be opportunity for hurt and I'm okay with that now and I think I'm in a different place to accept that and so I think it's going to help me build better relationships knowing that that is a possibility but that I can still get through it is that really what we were thinking of sure it's a long one I like it mine would have to be opening racing like upgrading that facility and then the most excited for this year is uh, kind of along the lines of Jason being consistent, kind of sticking, making, you know, we redefined our values re- recently. Kind of just not redefine them, but like, what's the word I'm looking for, Jay? Just made them easier to remember, I guess, or refocused. Dialed them in. Dialed them in, there we go. And then uh, living through that. And you know, I think we've all come into this year. I have some really cool plans for this year. Um, you know, things like the committed club and the injury process and we'll get into that in a second but just kind of seeing I love like where we've come from knowing from our first year to then the second year and then the third year last year and now this is going into our fourth year um we're seeing where it takes us I love the journey cool all right so cool all right so we're gonna do a little recap we're gonna of do a last little recap year. 
of last year. I guess we'll just start back in January. I guess we'll just start back in January. Uh, um, Januarys are usually kind January's of are usually quiet. Kind of quiet in terms of things going in terms on. Of things going on. Sliding we, we did a sledding event. Uh, Willow Mountain. Yeah, Nate did a pull-up seminar. Went over really well. Um, do we want to go month by month, and then what we plan to do, like, so if we're going to do January 2018, do we want to talk about what we're doing this January, just go through the recap, then we'll talk about it. Okay. Yeah, January was quiet. We did the sledding event, and then it looks like we did the pull-up seminar. February, um, looks like Corey Kohler had a rowing seminar, and then we started celebrating the Open. Oh, we had wad and wine. I, I was that. just going to say, don't miss my wad and wine. Wad and wine, and then we started, we started the open. Um, Which we get one more year of. Well, no, it's not going away. It's just changing the format. It's just changing. Changing. And then uh, March, I think the whole focus that month was the open. And then we started getting in. Yeah, I have that planned. That was a lot of fun. I think it went over really well. Again, we'll talk more about that in a second. And then we started getting into April, and that's when we kind of started our search on the building. So we started kind of releasing info on that, giving little sneak peeks. That's when they started painting the building. Um, so if you guys saw the newsletter that we sent out, we had some pictures in there about the building when it was being put together. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Going into June, right? Oh, yeah, April. That was a lot of fun. That was awesome. That was a, That was so much fun. And it was cool because it was, like, warm but not warm, so we did have some outside events, which I remember wearing my hat and my sweatshirt and then having to take it off because you get hot. Yeah, and we did a casino night. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Seeing everybody dressed up. Mm, let's see. I'm trying to find all this stuff. All right, so then if we're done with April. We're going to move into to June. Um, that's... June was very quiet because we were really pushing to get the gym open. Um, so that was like the first month we actually opened the gym. Yeah, we did do the Brewer game. It was a 1 o'clock game. It was a beautiful day. Power Monkey was back in April of last year. Sorry, guys. I'm just going through all of this. Then we did our endurance seminar the following month. I think that might have been part of maybe June, July-ish. Because it was right before Murph. Yeah, we did. It was running, yeah, rowing, and biking. biking. Yeah, yeah that, was, that would have been April, May. That would have been May. Okay, so then... I'm trying to look at these. Then we're moving into June. That's when we open the new facility because I see the, the book club assembled. That was the first time they did. Then we did our Brewers game. Um, July was kind of quiet. We just did our 4th of July on the beach. That was a lot of fun. That was another beautiful day. I hope we get out more this year. I know we have plans too, but I really want it to actually happen. Mm. August is when... We did start. We did the summer throwdown. End of July. Mm. Yeah, the power, the strong man, which was fun. So we had a bunch of people PR in that. Um, then we did our moving into August. We did obviously the games the end of July, and then we moving into uh, our anniversary. We did the kingfish. September's big spotlight was Carla and Shanky. Oh, yeah, the wedding. John Shanky, Jonathan, getting uh, married. Then we started moving into the holidays. We had our haunted house and costume parties, Barbells for Boobs, which was a pretty cool event. And then we moved into the crazy holidays with Thanksgiving, Christmas, Shipwreck. Yeah. That was our, our first comp at our new building. It's true. So we have a lot planned, or we had a lot planned last year, and we, they all were pretty successful, and we have a lot going on this year. So um, with that recap, I think we have some, some news, I guess, to address for the new year, right, Jay? I'm going to talk about how 
maybe we made a little bit of a mistake in um, overthinking some of the yeah. events. I think my biggest takeaway is we tried something different with multiple events for the same thing. You like splitting by location. Yeah, and our idea behind that was obviously that sometimes people aren't able to make certain dates or to be honest, even though the gyms aren't that far apart, you know, a lot of our members do come from um, Milwaukee or Oak Creek and some of them from northern Illinois. So it's difficult for them to get to the opposite location from time to time. So we thought we were doing a favor by giving a lot of options. But I think we've always learned this. When we give too many options, people can't make a um, determination on what's best for them. And so that it actually makes it more difficult. Um, my biggest regret is... Um, is is trying that. I, I wouldn't even say it's a regret because it was a learning experience, but I'm excited to get back to, you know, our philosophy is two gyms, one community. And I really think that, we, you know, we overthought it, like Dave said and Jason said, um, and not overthinking that and just letting it be what it is is going to be really important for 2019. And that's what I said before was I'm excited to learn from things that didn't work, and that's how you get better. So yeah, we're gonna be, we're still gonna celebrate everything that we've done. We're just gonna make one event, especially for the big ones, like the Thanksgiving, the Friendsgiving, and then the, the Christmas events. Those will all be pretty much one event. Yeah, and I think it's very difficult at that time of year for most people to commit to things as it is because not only did the gym have a lot of things going on, but everybody has a lot of things going on in their own personal life. So to be able to say, that they have holiday parties with their friends, with their family, with work, and then we have multiple parties. It does make it overwhelming. It's a constant go, go, go. And I think that our goal is to make things easier on our members, and that may have just made it a little harder. Sweet. All right. So we're going to look ahead, kind of give everybody a little rundown of some of the stuff. We won't give dates out, but we're going to talk about what we're doing for the year, just to get people excited and on the, on the same page with that. Um, so I have the events pulled up, and then I'll name it off, and then maybe you guys can talk on them. Uh, but the f big one for January, looks like we're going to be doing a rowing seminar at the end of the month. I think we have to redo the calendars, though, because I think initially we had it on a Saturday, but now we're going to do Sunday. Yeah, he had to change it on us. So, uh, well, let's start. Uh, January 12th is our wellness seminar up here in yeah. the racing gym. Coach Corin, you want to talk on what that is? And this is our second one. So this is something I've kind of talked to a few members about in person and in our Facebook group. And one of Harbor Park's main goals is to build a community of health and wellness. So it's always been kind of our dream and vision to build these connections with other people. You know, we're here to give you guys a, a place for fitness and there's other people that are smart in the community that deal with nutrition or injuries or stress management and chiropractic care and holistic healing and all of those sort of things. So we're kind of really focusing on building those community supports so that we can give you guys everything that you need. So the Wellness Saturday is kind of like our step forward in that direction. We're inviting a lot of the businesses that we already are working with to come and give you guys an opportunity to meet them, talk to them, and see what they provide as well so that you guys have a better understanding of what's available out there. I think there's a lot of times that it's just not known that the, that's there. So those Saturdays are times for us, for you guys to just come and check everybody out. Yep. yep. Doctors of PT will be there. Yep. And then the, the plan is to alternate gyms yep. monthly. So last month was Kenosha, this month is Racine, and then obviously in Mar February we'll go back to uh, Kenosha. 
Uh, I said already, the rowing seminar be, looks like it's going to be for the January 27th with Mike Bailey. Yep, so that, that's, yep, so that, that's Corey, Corey Kohler's Regia coach. We had him out for our, our coach retreat in the summer, and we love him. He does an excellent job teaching and instructing and making things exciting. I mean, rowing isn't the most exciting thing, but he held our attention for two hours. His passion yeah. shows through. And he knows what he's talking about. And, and he knows what he's talking about. And definitely recommended that. Definitely yeah, definitely worth it. Um, all right, CrossFit Kids. January 15th, we're a week away. Uh, Nate's excited for that. We have probably, I think, last I just looked, like 10 spots left to register. Um, so it's filling up. I know Nate's excited, and then this is going to be a reoccurring thing. The goal here is to do six weeks on, about two weeks off after that, and then so we can re-register and get everybody going again. And, and kind of learn, see if anything needs to be adapted or changed, um, you know, if if the program was at a good time and all of that sort of stuff. Right. Um, then going into February, looks like we have slated February 9th, but uh, could change a little bit. The Racine Wad and Wine. Yes, I'm excited for this one. Corinne's got that one. And then February 21st, looks like the 19.1 is going to be released. Um, so Jason mentioned this earlier. Our plan is to do a throwdown on Thursdays after the release. That Everybody liked that last year, and I think it was pretty cool. We'll pick two people to go head-to-head and to compete. Maybe, yeah, we might. Throw down after the release of it, and then we'll all cheer them on, watch them, and then um, we're still going to figure out details of either under the lights or Friday night lights on what we want to do there. Um, last year we did Saturday under the lights in the afternoon, and then the year prior we did Friday. Um, so obviously we're going to talk on that. There'll be more information to be released on that one. And then, Corian, March 9th is the American Cancer Society's U.S. Bank stair climb. Do you want to talk a little yeah, bit about that? Yeah, so this is something that came in right before we left for the holiday. And I'm really excited about this because I've always wanted to do it. It's the U.S. Bank building in Milwaukee. It's 94 flights, and we can register as a team, so I'm going to try and get that set up this week. Um, I know that there's already some information out at the gyms, but it is as a team, we would start at the same time, and you're going up 94 flights of stairs, and there's different things that you can do. I think that I looked at it, and it's only like 15 or 25 bucks to register, and then you raise money from there. So there is a minimum amount that has to be raised. So if you don't raise that minimum, obviously you pay the rest of it, but it's only 100 bucks. It's not a lot. And then we can all go. They have different divisions for law enforcement, firefighters, um, things like that. So I thought that was pretty awesome. And I want to, I always love when we do things as a group and we go in this big, massive group. So my goal, my vision is to have just a huge, massive outpouring up there, and then being able to have fun together, laugh together, just make it a fun event, nothing crazy or competitive, and then be able to go and hang out, maybe in Milwaukee afterwards. So I need to get some shirts made. Ooh, yeah. Bob Barry can make our shirts. All right. Um, moving into March, obviously this that would be Pipes and Drums. Probably do something with that again. Go mm-hmm. somewhere. We'll find out what their schedule's going to look like, and then we'll... Uh, uh, I tried looking. It's not posted yet. No, they don't usually post till about February. Yeah. We're moving into April. So that's quarter one. Kind of done with that. As you can see, it's a condensed. It's not as many crazy things every month, but made sure we hit some of the important ones. And then April, I've had a lot of people asking me about this. When are we doing an in-house competition? I kind of told somebody that, yes, we are planning a, our competition in April. That would be our annual one. Um, nautical mile. Nautical mile. So this will be the third year. And I think, Jason, we talked about same-sex teams. So two males, two females. Yep. Um, we haven't really decided if we're going to do all in-house, if we're going to kind of advertise it like we did with the shipwreck and just see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. And then Power Monkey is coming in the middle of April for their weight, their gymnastics seminar. I'm excited. I, I loved Power Monkey last time they were in, and I think that we learned a lot from them. I think... For me personally, gymnastics and knowing them and teaching them is one of my weaker areas. So the more that I can learn that, the happier I am. Yeah. And then uh, this idea came from Stuart and Diana uh, doing some type of citywide or some type of scavenger hunt. They want to kind of make that like a a thing where 
you could make your team, and then you're gonna we're gonna have things that you gotta go out and take a picture of. I love this. And post in like a on the Facebook group, and then we'll all meet up later and have some food and just kind of joke around with it. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Some fitness stuff. Handstands. <laughs> what was Handstands it? Handstands in public. Yeah. Um, the Brewers game in June. Corian obviously is going to get more information with that. Yep, I think I'm just starting to get the emails to reserve our spot now. So. Yeah, I think we're going to leave the second half because there's obviously so much stuff that can still change. The biggest one, obviously, that um, comes to mind is that just the September. We'll be doing Shipwreck 4, so pay attention to those as well. And obviously Christmas and Thanksgiving of next year, but we'll release more of those. Maybe we'll do July and we'll talk about the upcoming stuff, but that's the big stuff. Um, I think too, um, as much, like you said, I said this before, as much as of a people person that I am with all the events that we had going on, it just got very overwhelming and I'm excited to be able to give my full effort and my full, um, you know, attention to all of these events that we have. I think we learned as the year went last year that our community is changing and what they want to be a part of and what they want to participate in, the scavenger hunt, um, brewer's game, all of those things are are different than our first year. So just knowing what our members want to and just providing them with fun events that they want to be a part of I think is huge. Yeah. All right, so some cool things that I'm really excited about this year is the Committed Club. So, Jason, we started this last year. Um, And it was just originally like a board, kind of see your name up on the board after 20 visits in a month, and we celebrate that. Um, And then this year, kind of got this idea of rewarding it by the month, quarterly, and then for the whole year. Um, So some of these people, some of you guys have been asking about it, and we have these cool little posters posted next to the Committed Club board, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. But our hashtag is just show up. I've seen a couple people posting on social media already with that hashtag, and I like it. Uh, but basically, it's 20 visits in a month. And each month that you're there for 20 visits, you get put into the raffle. And that raffle is going to be just a random prize. So it just depends on what we're going to give away that, that month. So that's going to be kind of like a giveaway that month. That's going to be kind of like a monthly challenge. Maybe every now and then. We're not going to do the monthly challenge, but maybe every now and then we'll bring one back. But Yeah, I think those kind of got lost by the wayside a little bit they'd go for maybe four or five days and then didn't really get what what we had hoped out of it maybe i think it goes back and we just try to pack more stuff in. yeah because you had so much to do so yeah you get in there monthly you get your name drawn you get or a ticket for it and then we will draw your name uh two winners each month one per location and then if you get on there for three months in a row you get entered into that same drawing obviously each month Yes. Right. And at, so, like, we're going to do the first quarter drawing May 1st. So, if you miss January, and let's just say you hit February, March, April, um, you'll be entered into the next quarter's drawing, which would be. July? It'll be January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Right. So, yes, clarifying, yes, if you missed a month and you're in it for three months, yes, you have to, it's by quarter drawing. So, uh, then that one is two winners to get a potential $50 off um, your membership. But basically, we'll put it on your account. You can use it towards anything you want. You can get gear out of it. So, you are products, your fit aids, perfect bars. Or you can just save it and it'll come off your, your monthly membership. The last one is the entire year. So you have made it for the entire year, totally committed every month. Um, you get, obviously, each month you're in there, you get the drawing. For all the quarters that you've been in there, you get entered into those drawings for the $50. And then you get into the drawing for one free month membership, potentially. So it's cool incentives. I think it'll help people stay committed and want to show up to the gym that was the point of it you guys have anything to add on that i think one of the biggest things is like i think we've learned too that you know our habits and routines 
are what get us our, our goals and results, not the other way around. So we're just trying to help people understand what habits will best fit to reach their goals. Yeah, I think the point of it was... being here. One of the, the point of it was the one thing that most people can control is to just show up. Um, you know, sometimes you can't always control other things, but if you just show up and you put in the effort a little bit, one hour a day, that's all that matters. You know, you kind of get rewarded for that. Um, another thing that I'm really excited about is our injury process. We're kind of revamping and taking a look at this year is, you know, we've done it. We did a really good job last year on developing this, but this year we're going to kind of refine that process. So anybody who comes through with an injury, whether it's uh, the initial consultation or injured in a wad or injured outside of the gym, I'm going to get, you're going to fill out that sheet, which comes to me. And then um, whoever you filled it out with will notify me of that. If you're going to, then I'll contact you to set up that consultation. We'll sit down, go over and to figure out what exactly the injury is. If it's an injury where um, it's just like a nagging little mobility concern, I'll give you some things to do. If it's something where um, I believe it's repetitive or an issue that requires somebody to watch you a little bit more, I'm going to refer you to our, to Stephanie to work with personal training. And then if it's an injury where requires outside that scope, needs more of a, a doctor's care, I'll refer you to Christian at Doctors of Physical Therapy. So um, the cool thing about the, the PT with staff um, it, we're going to work it where you get to work with her a couple times a month um, so that she keeps you basically, she's got all her eye on you to make sure that you're doing things correctly. So basically, I think like a lot of the issues with injuries is just poor movement patterns. So if somebody's dedicated to watching you and just kind of watching your form, um, she can give you some ideas on what you're doing wrong and also give you some strength exercises. Yeah, Absolutely. I think that a lot of my injuries with my back, you know, could be just poor movement pattern or um, just ingrained different movements because I didn't start CrossFit until I was later. And, you know, I had a lot of bad movement pattern from my old life. And so trying to have someone keep an eye on me and kind of reset that is taking time, but it's definitely worth it. And then it's, it's important to note that the intent of that is yeah so I think what happens is, is if you get injured or you think you're injured and we just told you how go home and rest well generally one you're gonna fall back in a poor Poor habits, and two, you go in kind of a dark place. You get sad. Mm-hmm. You're, you know, you're out of your joy, your comfort zone. You don't have the release anymore. Um, so things build up. So the point of it is to kind of keep you, keep you committed, keep you going, um, keep you motivated. Yeah, I mean, look at all our coaches. Like, I feel like for one reason or another, a lot of us have had our own issues, whether it's injury or family or something else, and. It bums us out when we can't work out. You know, Jason's had a rough year. Dave had a rough uh, first year. I've had a rough month or two, and Nate's got some things. Um, and we all know that just that fitness is a big part of our lives, and it's a big part of your guys' life, and it's a good release. It's a good stress reliever, but we still have to do it in a, in a good, healthy way. We can't just, you know, keep working out when there's an injury or keep working out when there's added stress or, you know, taxing on your nervous system so we want to find this balance where you can stay happy and keep coming in without making things worse yeah and i hope most of you guys know that um, there are some people who have had surgeries or or some type of injury and they get modifications like we can modify for any movement doesn't mean that you're not working as hard just modifying for what's going on yeah that's all part of it yeah all right you guys got anything else to add no that's it I'm excited. We're excited. 2019 is the year. It's going to be a fucking awesome year. All right, guys. That wraps up episode 41. Stay classy. Bye. See you later, guys. Thanks for listening to Anchored at Harbor Park CrossFit. If you would like further information about our programs, visit www.harborparkcrossfit.com. We hope you'll tune in next time.